OneSource 2016 was really designed by many of you. If you were here last year and you stopped by our innovation lab, you may have seen prototypes, proof of concepts, and we got feedback from hundreds of you helping us formulate what the new version of OneSource 2016 should be about. And we settled on something that I believe is beautiful, it's simpler, and at the same time, more powerful. I think you'll be very, very impressed with it, and we definitely want to keep hearing from you on your feedback. To help me demonstrate OneSource 2016, please give me a round of applause for the OneSource product manager, Priyanka John. How are you, Priyanka? I'm great, Joe. How are you? Good. You ready to show everyone OneSource 2016? Absolutely. All right, I leave it in your hands. Thank you, Joe. Hello, everyone. I'm Priyanka. I'm a product manager with OneSource. I'm part of a larger team of fellow product managers, designers, developers, architects, all of whom have worked very hard over the last year to bring the next generation of OneSource to you. So if it's all right, I'm just going to get started. The next generation of OneSource is simple, it's consistent, and it's modern. We simplified and reduced the number of clicks it takes for you to work in the platform. The platform itself and the applications are consistent. We looked at our apps, we designed it so that if you learn to use one app, you can easily use another. And the platform is modern. It's got some modern elements built into it. We're going to explore it together today. The first one is right here on my homepage. You see, we're using Reuters photography as a background image. The graph that's on my laptop is an image that I chose from a bank of Reuters photos. You can tailor your experience however you'd like. All right, let's log in and get started. This is the OneSource homepage. Let's look at some key elements here. The first one is this navigation bar up at the top. This bar stays consistent no matter where you are or what application you're using. It anchors you to the platform, so keep your eye on that as we walk through the presentation. Now we know when you log in, the first thing you want to do is just get right back to work, right? So the orange tiles here launch your application in one click. It depends on the applications that you license. The appropriate tile will appear on your home page, just giving you that one-click option to launch your app. So on my home page, I've got income tax, tax provision, easy enough. But the reality is, it's not just about launching an app. It's about getting you straight back to where you last left off. So let's talk about recent work. These white tiles, these white recent work tiles, get you to the screen of the application that you were last logged in the last time you were on the platform. For example, yesterday, I was looking at the 2015 year end for the tax provision application. If I click on the tile, it's going to take me right to that screen. Now I want to continue exploring the tiles and the apps, but let's look at some of the other elements on the home page. We're bringing you Reuters and Checkpoint news content onto the home page. And here, under resources, are some easy links for you to work within OneSource. Do you need training? Do you need to get in touch with university? It's right there. Do you need support help? Do you need to talk to one of our representatives or just launch that knowledge base that Iris just showed you? It's right here on your home page. So we've talked about the platform, but let's go back to talking about the applications themselves. We know you care about the applications that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. You want the apps themselves to be simpler and easier to use. So let's look a little deeper into what drives productivity. We spoke to one of our users. Her name is Donna Oaks. She's a tax manager at Johnson & Johnson. She talked to us about how her team uses the tax provision product. She told us that her team of 17 spend about 40 hours each manipulating data for their provision process. Now, when we dug a little deeper, we discovered that a lot of that time is spent exporting, copy, pasting, importing, consolidating, comparing data, and that just adds up to a lot of hours. So let me show you how the redesigned tax provision application simplifies and speeds up this work. So we're back on the platform. I'm going to click on my tile to get into tax provision. And hey, for those of you who are tax provision users in the audience, Citrix, it's gone. One click, simple enough, and you're in the app. 
that happen. This is tax provision version 2016. Stay with me here, let's get oriented. That black bar at the top stays consistent. This gray menu is the tax provision menu. And what we're looking at are the results from the 2015 year end across all of my entities. I wanna show you how we took some common yet burdensome tasks and made them a lot easier in the redesigned tax provision application. The first task simply being comparing year-over-year -year data and filtering the differences down to what matters to you. Today, if I needed to compare and filter, we're probably talking about exporting reports, consolidating it in Excel, and repeating that process throughout the year. We are looking at about 25 entities on my screen. In order to get to this level of presentation, I would have needed to work with about seven different reports per entity. I'm talking jockeying up in Excel 175 reports just to get to this level of presentation. So yeah, we did take data across dozens of these reports and represent it on this one screen. And on top of that, it takes me a single click to do a year-over-year -year comparison, a single click to analyze the differences and filter those down to a desired threshold. What you're seeing on my screen in column A is my current year, 2015. In column B is the comparison, so 2014, and then the percentage column is the delta. I find it hard to believe that there's an easier way to compare, filter, and drill down than just doing this in a couple of clicks. Let's look at a second task. We're analyzing this data, and I need to understand where it comes from. What are the details that support it? We want to dig into the details. In just a click, I'm at my lead sheet. In just another click, I'm at that lowest level of detail. Again, tracing your data from the top to the bottom in a couple clicks. So I know I'm showing you some of these concepts, and I know I'm showing you the tax provision application. But the concepts are comparing and filtering and drilling down, which are applicable across any of the applications in OneSource. So these design concepts are being rolled out across OneSource in a phased approach over the next few consumable releases. Now, I know a typical part of your process is working on work papers. There's some really cool stuff coming your way for work papers. OneSource Work Papers is the next evolution of work paper technology that connects data across applications. It's one single tool that you can use to manage a variety of your work paper scenarios. Now, if you use Dataflow or the Excel add-in, better known as the Data Import add-in or Active Work Papers, we are consolidating that capabilities into OneSource Work Papers, into the single tool that integrates across all of the different applications on the platform. Now, I don't want you to get too concerned here, because if you do use these current Work Paper solutions, they're not going away. You can choose to upgrade to OneSource Work Papers on your timeline at your pace, and the process is seamless. We were very, very focused on that. So we're gonna chat about this further, but let's explore OneSource Work Papers. This is the view of OneSource Work Papers, and up at the top, see that standard bar stayed consistent. My gray menu here is the Work Paper menu, and we're looking at recent Work Paper tiles. So hopefully you're starting to see the familiarity in the design and the consistency in the interface. A cool concept I wanna point out here is the search tool. I've got a list of Work Papers in my homepage here, and I'm specifically looking for a work paper, the foreign tax credit work paper, and I can type in FTC in my search bar, and it just narrows it down. So it's just a cool concept for you. Again, remember, we're rolling out these concepts across the rest of the applications. But let's go ahead and get into an actual work paper. This Excel spreadsheet is linked across multiple OneSource applications. It can push and pull data across the different apps. On my example here, we're looking at data being pulled from the income tax and tax provision application. We're computing the results and pushing them back into OneSource, all on this one spreadsheet. It's got wizard-based functionality 
that helps me build and design this work paper. So just over here, there's a function wizard. I can get or set push or pull data, define which application I need to get the data from. So I've got four in my list, click and select one, and then continue letting that wizard design a work paper. So what you're seeing here is a novice user like myself design my own integrated work paper that is linked across OneSource. So remember, if you want to upgrade to OneSource work papers, the process is seamless. There is no redesign or additional implementation effort on your end. So to sum up what I've showed you, we've looked at the platform. Yes, it's got some modern elements to it, but really what it's doing is getting you right back, straight back to work. We've showed you a design of one application, the tax provision application, that has elements in it that let you work faster. Combine that with work paper technology that's push-pull integrated across OneSource. We're hoping you're starting to see how we can make a huge dent in the way that you use the next generation of OneSource.